This week we're covering table calculations, and so I wanted to go over the uh, lesson four um, worksheets and uh, give you a pre brief introduction into the topic um, outside of the lesson, uh, the step-by-step -step lesson. So um, I've included the workbook with the assignment uh, or with the lesson so that you can see the completed answers and it'll help you as you go to complete assignment four. Uh, which basically has uh, about the same type of views, but a little bit, little bit different uh, questions in there. So I'm going to start with uh, the first, uh, the first uh, figure four two, and this is a very simple table calculation. I'll just go ahead and walk through how this one's built. So I'll start on a new worksheet and add category and subcategory to the worksheet. Now it. Add, when I double click on it, it automatically adds it to the rows. And uh, so now, uh, because we added the dimensions first, it's giving us a text field. It's going gonna, it's gonna to try to create a table uh, within our worksheet. So if I just double click on sales, it's going to add in uh, the sum of sales to the text mark here. Uh, so now we have for each, for each category, each subcategory, each category and subcategory, we're summing the, to the sales for each of those combinations. So with uh, furniture, bookcases, it's 114,000. Now, the reason they're called table calculations is because it's using a table. It's using whatever data that you've brought in to the, to the view. So this one is using the sum of sales. So we're summing up the sales for all, the for all these subcategories. Uh, <clears throat> now, because we're, yeah, so let me, let me show you how we're going to do a table calculation. So if we right click on the pill or you click on the carrot, um, you go down and you find quick table calculation and there's also one where you can add your own, but we, but the quick table calculations usually have most of what you need. Uh, now the they don't allow you to change how it's computed, and we'll get to that in just a second. But uh, for this one, we want to say, okay, percent of total. So we want to see what percent of, to of the total sales each of these values is. So if we do the quick table calculation, percent of total, then we can see that, okay, it gives us a percent now. Um, so this is similar to the contingency tables that we covered in uh, BAS 120. Um, all right, so now we need to figure out how it's computed. So if we right click again, now we see a compute using option come available. And there's a lot of different options here. Um, and I'll go over each of these in depth um, with, uh, with a different view. But for right now, it automatically realizes that table down is, is the most, um, is, is the, it's the default way that it's going to run the table calculation. Um, so now let's let's uh, add in our uh, subtotals and our totals to see um, how it adds up to 100%. So if you go to, um, let's see, I think it's analysis, totals, you see there's a few options here. So we want to show the column grand totals. And so we see it adds up to 100%. And then we also want to add in all subtotals. So now for each separate uh, subcategory, we're going to get the total percent. So for our furniture category, it covers 32% of the sales. All right. And then we can see how each subcategory breaks down. But say we want to find out what percentage bookcases was of our subcategory. So that we need to change the uh, compute using option to pane down. Okay, so now our total for pain is 100%. So we can see that bookcases was 15% of our, of our furniture category. <clears throat> okay, so that's that's pretty good, but let's add it add back in sales so we can see that number. So if you just double click sales again, when you've added this table calculation, it's 
this is no longer sum of sales. This is a, it has that Delta sign on it. So it is a, it's technically a different variable and you can make that variable a part of your data source. If you just click and drag it over to the window, it'll automatically say calculation two, and you can say, um, sales percent of total, something like that. And then you can edit it and you can see the underlying, um, equation. So it's, it has an equation, sum of sales divided by the total sum of sales, and those totals are summarized from the pane down. So you can see that uh, this table calculation, you have a different way of computing it. You can compute it all sorts of different ways. Okay. Um, but we really just want to focus on the quick table calculations and the compute using because that should cover most of our instances and it'll definitely cover all of the instances for this week's lesson and assignment. All right, so if I double click sales, I can add it back in there. So we see the sum of sales back in there. And this is basically figure four too. So we've got it covered already. Okay. <clears throat> um, now we've done this as a text field, you know, as a as a as really a cross tab, and sometimes it's more, you know, that this is a, a very just you know straightforward way of seeing a table calculation and see how seeing how it works. And so on the third part, Figure four fourteen, um, it's a more complicated table. Uh, so you have columns and rows. So on the rows you have quarter and month of order date. And on the columns, you have uh, the segment and the category. So within each of these, if you change this um, table calculation, the compute using option, you can get all sorts of uh, different insights within there. Um, but it's good just to, to play around with that. And that's, that's what the third one has. It, uh, the third figure has all the, I think it has like nine different views of seeing this and it shows you with an arrow how it's calculated. So if you play around with this, uh, it's really good to see how it works just by looking at the 100%. So here we have it computing down. So you can see that each, uh, you know, each section here is a, you know, it's either a quarter or a month and we can see that it adds up to 100%. If we change that to table across, we can see that the 100 percent is over here. So, you know, this would answer the question: What percent of our say of our January sales in quarter one did furniture account for? And it's 21.21 percent. Um, and then also you can change it so that it goes pain across or pain down. Okay, so there's some more options there that I won't, I won't cover right now. Um, let's go into uh, actual data visualization because those are table those table calculations are really uh, you know they're easier to see in the cross tab. Um, so whenever you're making a data visualization like this one, I would recommend that you right click it and say duplicate as sheet so you can verify with the totals. Or grand totals. And this is a running sum, and I'm kind of skipping ahead a little bit, but I just want to show you how uh, you can verify the values by just duplicating as a cross tab and seeing that 32 plus 17 is 49. Then you add 94 and you get that. So it's really just a good way of seeing how, how it's computed. So for this view, I'll, uh, I'll start, I'll start uh, with a new sheet. Um, this is a month of order date. So if we right click and drag order date over here and choose month and then add in sales to the rows, you can see that we have sales across. And so this is a discrete month. So this January adds up the four years that are there. So this is a pretty interesting uh, visualization in that they've then take an order date and added it to the color shelf. And that's the year of order date. So you can see how each year changes. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, stop here and pick up on the next recording.